think that we are locked and loaded. It's so weird, this thing just doesn't respond like a normal Strat trim. Wow, that got so bright all of a sudden. Hold on one second. A little bit better, still crazy bright. Uh, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, second channel in action. And I was like, you know what? The video, the channel is called Tone Quest. Maybe we should talk about tone. So here we go. Good tone, bad tone, uh, toner, works well in printers, I don't know. So. To me, I, I think that um, it might have been Dan Huff who said it, but there is no no such thing as bad tone. There's like whatever the worst tone you can imagine, there's probably a situation for it. So sometimes when I hear these guys and I'm totally guilty of judging people on tone, I'm like, God, their tone's horrible um, or something like that. But it's just, I think I just, as, as I continue to hopefully grow, <laughs> Making sure that was recording. Uh, grow as a musician, I've become so much more accepting of, of people's tones. You know, like, you don't have to like everyone's, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad tone. You know, for me, I hear uh, someone like uh, Jack White. I never really liked his tone, you know, it was always a pretty, pretty rough tone for me, but then I realized there's situations for it. You know, I used to hate fuzz just in general, I'm like, God, I hate that sound effect. It's so loose and wobbly sounding and just so saturated. And now I absolutely love it because I found the place for it in, in, in the way that I would use it. You know, like some people, um, oh, what's Scott Holiday? Scotty Holiday from Rival Sons uses it all the time. It's not really like my thing. Uh, and I love his tone. I love the way that he uses it. It's just, um, I don't think that way with fuzz. To me, fuzz is a more uh, like an intro, something like that. Then I wanted the distortion to tighten up or something like that. But, you know, I was just kind of thinking about good tone, bad tone, no tone, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, because sometimes it, it's kind of like the expression, one, one man's trash is never another man's treasure. So you could hear a tone and just think that, God, I think that's a terrible tone. And that can be someone else's tone that inspires them to want to play guitar. And um, that certainly happened to me because I used to always talk about how much I did not like Nirvana. I still don't really like Nirvana, if I'm being honest. But um, I, I had to, what, what really hit, struck me was whenever I had a student who that was their favorite band. That was who made them want to play guitar. And it made me try to, kind of step back and think about like, you know what, you should not speak so negatively of these these different genres, these different bands, because you, you know what, that is, that group, whatever it is, obviously Nirvana is a huge band, but it's going to inspire someone else to want to play. So I think that a lot of people who are real critical over someone's tone, someone's preference and, and again to me tone is not just the way the guitar sounds the tone is you know an album has a tone to it a, a sound uh, overall so you know when it comes to me uh, I, I've become so much more accepting of, of people's tones and someone could hear this tone you know like I got the jazz master out nice and chorusy reverbs delays and they could be like god I hate that I hate all the modulation get that off there, I like a more dry tone. And I'd be like, shoot, yeah, I hate that. <laughs> I think my most hated tone is just a, a, a guitar tone with no no reverb, nothing, no, no sauce on it at all. Um, you know, no schmoo factor. 
me this, I love it. It's very inspiring. So you just have to kind of figure out what inspires you to want to play. And I think that if we were all a little less harsh on, on judging other people, because you don't know the situation. People make fun of those Line 6 spider amps all the time. Uh, and, you know, that was such an inspiring amp. I had one of those. I had one of the first, like, generation of them that came out, but mine was a 2x12. That amp was so inspiring. It had all the effects built in it. I didn't need a bunch of pedals. I didn't understand how pedals worked whenever I had that amp. So all I knew was that that amp was so inspiring. Because I know we, we like to hate on them, but so good, you know, in my, in my opinion. Like, it really was like a, a pivotal, 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 there we go. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Amp and sound for me growing up. So I think that I definitely fall into the category now where there's like, no bad tone. Some tones might be harsh, some tones might be the opposite of what I would go for, but I guarantee you there's a spot. Like if I was to change this tone right now, and hopefully this doesn't clip, uh, to this. So here's the tone right now. Oh, whoa, wrong chord. Okay, well what if I change it to this? You might be like, oh, I hate rotary effects. To me, I love them. You know, it's such a cool sound. Uh, I could do that same thing I did in the intro. You know. Is this the sound you want when you're trying to like, play it like fast stuff? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not the one I'd go for. But um, there's just so many different things where I've gotten to where I like effects. I used to not like anything. I just liked reverb, some delay, distortion. That was it. And um, I just think as you kind of like wisen up as a guitar player, the effects are a challenge. You know, all these different tones are a real challenge to you as a player to use them. Because what I found was they inspired me to play differently. So like when I have this one going on, it's very, you know, melodic. I, I almost try, I play to the effect a lot. So it's, the, the effect is very big and open and I try to be very big and open, you know. My, try went on tune. But you play to the effect, you know, you turn on another effect. Um, it's like a multi-delay, I like this one a lot too. is you just play to it and it inspires you in a lot of different ways the other ones aren't really like anything special but to me this would be the worst tone of them all and this could be someone else's ideal tone just just dry like it just does not inspire me at all but even just adding the reverb back on Whoa, see? Whatever I was just gonna go to, I was just goofing. And it went to something I'm like, oh yeah, that's kinda cool. But you know, you get that chorus, the delay back in. Maybe diminish. Whoa, maybe if I play it right. Hold on. So what's a good chord to end on? So 
sorry. So anyways, what's the point of this video? There is no bad tone. It's all just tone. Good, bad, ugly, Clint Eastwood, you know, whoever. So other than that, I'm gonna bounce out of here, guys. Let me know, what do you think? Do you know, are there tones that you just can't stand and you're like, I refuse to admit that that's not a bad tone because I've been there. I've been there. So until next time, guys, hope you're enjoying the second channel. Like I said, I just, I like goofing off sometimes, hanging out with you. So um, I just finished editing video for the main channel, uh, Zeppelin video coming out. Maybe it's already out when you see this. And um, yo, I hope I, I hope you all have a good rest of the year. I don't know if I'll get another video up before I gotta say it's 2022. So I'll see you guys.